On Christmas Eve, Fritz and Mary were looking forward to unpacking their presents. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. It was their uncle with a bunch of gifts in his hands. The children were very happy to see him. Then they began to unpack the presents. Mary got fancy dolls, toy dishes, and a beautiful silk dress. Fritz also got what he wanted a magnificent horse and a mouse king. Mary noticed that there was a soldier under the tree. It was the nutcracker designed to neatly crunch hard nuts. The girl really liked it. But Fritz said it was his gift and tried to take it from his sister. The children stretched the nutcracker so far that they tore his arm off. The broken toy became unnecessary for the boy. Mary was very upset and burst into tears. But my uncle was able to repair the soldier. Cool. The girl was happy and hugged him gently. The day was very busy, so she soon got tired and fell asleep right under the tree. During her sleep, Mary heard strange sounds. They were like mouse fuss. The girl opened her eyes. The objects in the house seemed much larger than they were. And the tree under which she fell asleep became absolutely gigantic. Mary realized that it was not the objects that had increased, but that she had decreased. Suddenly, the mouse king with his army appeared before the eyes of the astonished girl. Mary was very frightened and wanted to run away. But the giant mice stopped her. And then a miracle happened the nutcracker jumped to his feet and grabbed the girl. They instantly climbed the tree to the bookshelf, and along it got to Fritz's toys. There was a whole collection of tin soldiers. The nutcracker called for help. The soldiers immediately jumped to their feet and ran after him. The nutcracker took command of the army, and the soldiers began to fight the army of the Mouse King. The battle between toys and mice was fierce. But, unfortunately, there were too many mice, and the Nutcracker army began to suffer defeat. Mary saw this and ran out of her hiding place. She threw her shoe at the Mouse King and hit him right in the head, and he fell to the floor unconscious. The rest of the mice realized that the battle was lost and ran away in all directions. Mary ran to the Nutcracker, but he lay unconscious, as he was badly wounded by the Mouse King. The girl thought that he was dead, and began to cry bitterly. And suddenly, a beautiful fairy appeared behind Mary. She decided to help the girl. With a wave of her wand, she revived the Nutcracker. With a second wave of her wand, the fairy turned the soldier into a handsome prince. Mary and Nutcracker looked at each other with loving eyes and could not take their eyes off. With a wave of her wand for the third time, the fairy took the couple in love to the kingdom of sweets. The trees there were made of candy, and the flowers were made of marmalade. It was a wonderful place. Mary closed her eyes for a second in pleasure. And suddenly, she heard the voice of her mother, who called her by name. Opening her eyes, the girl saw her mother, who looked at her in confusion. Mary also could not understand what was happening. The girl told about her wonderful journey, but her mother only smiled sweetly. Then Mary saw the pewter nutcracker in her arms. And then she realized that she had slept under the tree all night, and everything that happened to her was just a vivid dream. A few years later, the nephew of their godfather came to visit Mary and Fritz. As soon as he entered the house, the girl almost fell to the floor in surprise. The boy looked like the nutcracker as two drops of water. He also liked Mary at first sight. After some time, they got married and lived no worse than in the magic kingdom of sweets. A little mouse lived in one forest. He was very cowardly, and he was afraid even of the noise of the wind. All the animals in the forest laughed at him. And then, one day, the little mouse gathered all his will into a fist, and went to the king of the jungle. The lion had just finished his dinner, and was dozing quietly in the shade, snoring loudly. The mouse approached him, and began to climb up the tail. All the animals were curious about what he was up to. 
The little mouse was very scared, but he tried very hard not to notice it. He climbed onto the back of the lion and stood before his friends with an important look. And then the lion woke up. With one movement he threw the mouse to the ground and growled menacingly. All other animals were very excited. They thought that the lion was about to swallow the mouse. But instead, the lion asked what he was doing on his back. Gathering all his will into a fist, the mouse asked the king of the jungle to take him under his wing, so that he would not be afraid of anyone or anything else. Because he was the most cowardly animal in the forest. And in return he offered his help. The lion listened silently to the mouse. But he could not understand how a small mouse can help a large and strong lion. At first he laughed, and then with a loud roar chased the insolent man away. The mouse instantly ran away, glad that the lion would not eat him. All the other animals ran after him. Some time has passed. The lion got hungry and went hunting. But he did not notice the trap set by the hunters and fell into it. The king of beasts hung in the air, caught in a hunting net. He tried to get out of it, but could not do it. And since the lion was the king of the jungle, he could not bring himself to scream for help. No. Besides, hunters could hear him. The animal saw the lion, but no one dared to come close to him. And the lion decided to trust fate, doing nothing. Quite by chance, the same little mouse was nearby. Seeing the king of beasts in the nets, he decided to help him. The little mouse climbed up the long tail of the lion, and when it reached the net, began to gnaw at it. After some time, a whole crowd of animals gathered near the trap. It was interesting for everyone to watch what was happening. Suddenly, somewhere far away, the cry of the hunters was heard. The animals got very scared and fled into the forest. But the mouse continued to stubbornly gnaw at the net. Eventually, the net broke and the lion freed himself from it. Without thinking twice, the mouse climbed onto his back, and they ran away. When the lion got to his cave, he apologized to the mouse. And he said that he had underestimated such a small animal, deciding that it would not be of any use. And for the fact that the little mouse saved the life of the king of beasts, now he no longer needs to fear anything or anyone. From now on, the lion takes him under his wing. All the animals, watching what was happening, laughed and applauded the brave mouse. Since then, the lion and the mouse have become best friends, and peace has reigned in the forest forever.